This integral looks like it fits the form of a trig substitution. Recall, if you have an integral of the form a squared minus u squared, uh, we can use the substitution u equals a sine theta. So in this case, we can think of it as follows. We can think of this as 8 squared minus the quantity 2x squared. So the integrand can be rewritten in this way. So here a is equal to 8 and u is simply 2x. So using this formula, we end up with 2x equals 8 sine theta. Beautiful stuff. Now we can take the derivative of both sides. So this is 2dx. This is equal to 8. The derivative of sine is cosine. And then here we have a d theta. At some point, um, we need to solve for dx because we don't have a 2 here. So let's go ahead and do that now. So dx dividing everything by 2 is 4 cosine theta d theta. We're almost there. We are almost there. We only need to figure out what this is. So I'm going to write it out. 64 minus 4x squared. And we said that can be written as 64 minus 2x quantity squared. So this is 64. We know something about 2x. It's equal to 8 sine theta. So we square the 8, giving us a 64. And we square the sine, giving us sine squared theta. Factoring out a 64, we get the square root of 64. And then we get the square root of 1 minus sine squared. 1 minus sine squared is cosine squared. So this is 8 square root cosine squared. And this is 8 cosine theta. I super rushed that, but it's okay. This is a long problem. So now we'll make our substitution carefully. So we have this guy here. We said that was 8 cosine theta. 8 cosine theta. And we said that dx, where is it? It's right there. dx is 4 cosine theta d theta. So 4 cosine theta d theta. So we end up with 4 times 8 is 32. And then here we get cosine squared theta d theta. To integrate cosine squared, we can use an identity. Uh, cosine squared is equal to 1 half times 1 plus cosine 2 theta d theta. Still have that piece. This is going to be 16. So breaking the integral up, we have 16 d theta plus 16, and then we have the integral of cosine 2 theta d theta. Let's keep going. So when we integrate 16 d theta, we simply get 16 theta. And when we integrate cosine, well, the integral of cosine is sine. And we have a 2 here, so all we do is divide by the 2. It's just a shortcut. So it's 16 over 2 sine of 2 theta plus our constant. So this is 16 theta plus 8 sine 2 theta plus our constant. Now we want to go back to x. Uh, but before we do that, we have to get rid of this 2 theta. So in order to do that, we'll use an identity. This is 16 theta plus 8. And we know that sine 2 theta is 2 sine theta cosine theta. And then we have a plus and a c. So this is 16 theta plus 16 sine theta cosine theta plus c. And now let's go back to our original substitution. We said that 2x was equal to 8 sine theta. That means that the sine of theta, dividing by 8, you get 2x over 8, which is the same as x over 4. And using so ka toa, this is opposite over hypotenuse, so o over h. So now we can draw a triangle. And the steps are the same for all of the trig substitution problems. So this is theta. So opposite here, it looks to be like it's x. And hypotenuse is 4. And if you work this out, if you call this b, we can use the theorem of Pythagoras, which says that 4 squared is equal to b squared plus x squared to find out the value of b. Subtracting x squared, we end up with 16 minus x squared equals b squared. 
that means that b squared, or b rather, is the square root of 16 minus x squared. So this is equal to the square root of 16 minus x squared. So this is equal to, okay, we need to deal with the theta. We know that the sine takes theta and gives us x over 4. That means that the arc sine takes x over 4 and gives us back theta because the arc sine is the inverse of sine. It undoes what sine does to theta. So here we get 16 arc sine of x over 4 plus 16. We know what sine is. Sine is x over 4. And cosine is, let's see, ka. So adjacent over hypotenuse. So the adjacent is the square root of 16 minus x squared. And the hypotenuse is 4. And then we have the plus and the c. Looks like the 16 cancels with this 16. So we end up with 16 arc sine of x over 4 plus x square root 16 minus x squared plus our constant. And that is the final answer. And that's a 16. I hope that made sense.